Hi everybody, I'm Bob Harp and I'm the cutie, yeah! And welcome to Day of the Tentacle. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, birdie. I am contaminated with industrial waste. Mm, I'm thirsty. Mmm. I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. <laughs> Probably. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. Like I could. Like I could. Take on the world! This is the sequel of Maniac Mansion. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster! <laughs> Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like, we could bite its head off or whatever. Is it a reference to Marilyn Manson? Hands off that hamster! Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. <laughs> it's for my old friend, Green Tentacle. Help. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, no, but not. I know that I must go back, back to the mansion. To the mansion. This is the sequel of Maniac Mansion, the first game that used the, the scam engine. Uh, because the double M uh, in scam means manic mention. Like I said uh, in my second video of the channel. This game is from uh, the creators of Monkey Highland. And in my opinion. Uh, this game with Monkey Island 1 and 2 is, uh, uh, is the history of video game. It made the history of video games. No! Parim parim para, parim 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 para. The cow. No, let them go. <laughs> Edna Edison. Okay. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. <laughs> Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here in the lobby. HQ. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. Okay. 
and I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, <laughs> he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? The first thing you can notice if you if someone of you played Manic Mansion is that the mansion is completely changed. <laughs> That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. My. Hey, hey. Okay. <laughs> it's from George's hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Okay. <laughs> Let's take some objects first. Help wanted. Dime stuck in uh, chewing gum. No. <laughs> of the three uh, per, uh, principal main characters, sorry. of the three main characters, only Bernard is from Manic Mansion. And uh, let's take this time. Whoosh! <laughs> Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. Swiss bank coat. <laughs> Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. <laughs> really? <laughs> that weather. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. George Lucas, please don't do this. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. <laughs> Let's see. Um, okay, the secret lab is in here in the grandfather clock. Aha, a secret <laughs> passage. This is all too easy. <laughs> I love the humor in these games. <laughs> They're the best. How'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. <laughs> Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Come on! Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world <laughs> and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're <laughs> free to go. Thanks, That's Bernard. The most stupid yes. nerd I ever seen. Nice. Oh, I finished taking over the world. <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah. Psst. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Come on. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? <laughs> Leaping lab rats. Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now milk toast. Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity. Uh, Our only hope is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it now for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! Through the time machine! I love all the games that have a time machine. Your fault, Bernard. I love Behold, time travels. Children, the Chronogon! The Chronogon. 
the Chrono Trigger. Now you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this what? thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. <laughs> the soundtrack is wonderful. And the animation is incredible. Well, I'll be. I'll be. Dun, dun, dun. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. <laughs> This must be that Woodstock place mom and dad are always talking about. The place where you were born? What could it all mean? Ah. I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see you today. Spoilers! Mr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Imitation? Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay. Do 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 do. No. Jeez. Hmm. Do 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 do. Mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? <laughs> My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry what? up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where do I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find, find plans. plans. Step two, save world. <laughs> Step three, get out of my house. Let's get Perfect. Working. Perfectly clear. <laughs> Let's do this. Maybe I put them upstairs. That Maybe it upstairs. To do. To do. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one Found gigabolt it. with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! <laughs> there, it's off. But it's too late now. <laughs> I've got the plans. What the? We have to flush them to Hoagie. Oh, get over there. Indiana Jones. Yeah. My ingenious super battery design, please. <laughs> really flush them. <laughs> yes. Down the toilet. No, through time. 
down the stream of time. In case of time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. That's genius. Inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello. Doctor and words. Can you hear me? Well, sound is inanimate. Did you hear something? In some way. No. Let's see if what's his name catches on. <laughs> oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. Okay. Come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. <laughs> Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. Red Edison. Great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what It's you, Beth Hansworth. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. Okay. I can switch through Ogie and Bernard. Yeah, hold. Ye oldy outhouses. Really? <laughs> Let's see what we what do we have here. <laughs> okay. Hi there, mister. Franklin, Ben Franklin, soon to be known as the inventor of electricity. <laughs> uh, yeah, Red Edison, he's a scientist guy, too. Red Edison? A scientist? He's just an innkeeper who pretends to be a scientist, and he's not very good at doing either one. I can't believe Washington and Jefferson picked his inn of all places to write our constitution. Really? <laughs> really? Shouldn't you say, the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Ha! I, Ben Franklin, <laughs> am going to summon power from the sky by sheer force of genius. <laughs> <laughs> you are truly whacked, Ben. Huh, that's what they said about the man who invented bifocals. Wasn't that you? Good point. Guess they were right. <laughs> How exactly are you going to do that power luring? Using one of my newest inventions. I like the power of the Brococopter. <laughs> That's a kite, man. They've been around for hundreds of years. Oh, sure, as toys. But this one is a letter to the gods. It's a po it's a po it's a pocket. One drop of your mighty juice in the hands of a genius like me could illuminate the entire world. Love, Ben. I <laughs> so I can read it. Well, those guys Norwegian. I was speaking figures. What are you talking about? Of PewDiePie? That I'm waiting for lightning to strike my kite. And then what? And then the electricity charges the kite. And then? And then what? Then the electricity travels down the string. And then? <laughs> and then what? It charges me, of course.
And then what? I glow with its almighty power! <laughs> and then what? <laughs> I use its power to make the world a better place! <laughs> and then what? <laughs> the world kneels before me, asking me to guide it with my mighty benevolence! And then what? <laughs> I have all annoying pests like you locked up! <laughs> That's insane! And then what? Shot! Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Isn't it too sunny for lightning? Shh! I know that! I'm just trying to keep my grant going until we get a storm. <laughs> Aren't you missing a key or something? The key to discovery is daring intellect, my boy! Daring intellect and rigorous science. No, I mean a real key key. You mean key like key. the heck did I put my keys kind of key? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a manual device. It needs no power. Seriously, man, what are you thinking? It's right. Oh, I'm going to back away now, just in case. Carry on. Excuse me, mister. Mr. Electricity? That would be me. What's so bad about Rad? What can you say about a guy who spent the last four years perfecting a left-handed hammer? He's <laughs> insane! He steals other people's inventions, too, before they can even apply for the patent! Not that I'm bitter. <laughs> Aren't you the hundred dollar guy? Hmm, the hundred dollar guy, not bad. So, where's this red guy at? Down in his secret lab, of course, neglecting his guests. <laughs> well, I need red to help me save humanity. So he's a missionary now, eh? <laughs> well, why not? Can't be any worse at that than he is at inventing. Well, see ya. Carry on. <laughs> but frankly... <laughs> Meanwhile... How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious <laughs> business. You're right. Well, <laughs> it's Uncle Head, Head is on. What's up? What's up? You don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? <laughs> one of the... One of the interesting game... Uh, things of this game, eh? Copied by... Uh, no, copied from the movies of Back to the Future. And then copied by the game Back to the Future. Uh, is that... Uh, we can see the changes uh, uh, of the place uh, to time. I have something for Red Edison. Wait a second. <laughs> Later, dude. Let's see, Bernard. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. <laughs> alive? <laughs> Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. <laughs> okay. Let's see. 
Let's see. Oh, this place. Uh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Well, yes, so I need. Uh, yeah. I'll just run to the Chronogon. There's something in the Chronogon. Perfect. This cutscene is for, only for the first uh, uh, object. And now we can go on. Boing. Boing. <laughs> the secret lab was very small. Tum, tum, it's tum, covered tum. with plans and junk. <laughs> hey, what is it? <laughs> you look kind of familiar. <laughs> of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Again, maybe not. Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. <laughs> I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. No, my don't be sure of that. My sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort the of left hand 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 one. <laughs> what are you inventing? It's a piece of paper that will stick to things by itself. Rather <laughs> ingenious, if I must say so myself. <laughs> well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Sorry. <laughs> What's this? Mm, help wanted, moronic drone, mm, assist genius. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. <laughs> so pick up your lab coat and get to work. Swish! The left-handed hammer. Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> no, 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 wait, sir. Super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Gold? Okay. Mm. Oh, oh, oh! Look at this! It's the, the same. Max Addicts. His petard runneth over. A lamentable fate for such a patriotic dude. It's the same portrait of Monkey Island 3. And I think this is enough for the 
first episode so uh, I'm going to leave you the game here and see you next time please subscribe and ciao 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 ciao